Had you named nine, you would have ended up with a nine, the two red nines. The next cards also match. You shuffled these cards as much as you liked, and as you can see, every single card, just cut the chase here, every single card, the sevens, the jokers, the eights, the sixes, all the cards, all the way through, completely match up. I have no idea how you did that, but I'm very impressed. I do is I take my favorite four of a kind, in this case the jacks, and I place these into a hiding spot. Now you can place some, you know, up your sleeve or in your pocket. In this case, since it's a demonstration, I'm going to place the jacks underneath the card box. You just think jack in the box and you remember where the jacks are, okay? And then during the course of the game, um, at some point you will not be the dealer and somebody's going to deal cards for you. If you get a bad hand, you can switch them for the jack you have hidden away. So I'll tell you what, I'll take out some cards that represent a, uh, a poker hand I would not want to keep in the game, and let's just use, choose these cards right here. We don't need the rest of the deck, only these four black number cards. Probably the best I could do with these is just a pair. So I'm gonna switch these cards one at a time for the jacks that are underneath the card box. Now, what you do in a real situation, you use misdirection. So for example, you might reach across the table and move a glass from one side to the other. And when everybody's eyes follows the glass, you switch the first card. Now it's hard to see the first time if you don't know what to watch for. So this time, whatever you do, don't take your eyes off the cards. If you do, you'll miss the switch. That's, that's jack number two. I'll try it again. This time uh, I'll leave the card face up so you can see the exact second, the instant that the card changes into the third jack. And when that one changes, this one changes as well, leaving me all four jacks I'm guaranteed to win. The problem is if somebody's in the wrong angle, like maybe over your shoulder grabbing a drink of water, they can catch you switching the cards. So you have to have an instantaneous way to get rid of the evidence and go right back where you started from with just those four number cards, leaving the four jacks back where you hid them. That's one, two, three, and four. You said you didn't play much poker no, no. or anything, right? Well, a lot of people ask me when I show them how to cheat with the jacks, why would you cheat with the jacks? That's not even the best four of a kind. They always wonder why I don't just go ahead and cheat with the one, two, three.